But offensively, it's, I believe, obviously we all believe um, and know that Amon Ross St. Brown is your number one. Your number two is, and I think he can't, He had a, a really good end of the season, Jamison Williams. you got to find a number three because Josh Reynolds is going to be 30 years old next year, and maybe he is a guy that you can count on for another year. He had some big-time catches. But I think if, if something happens to Amon Ross St. Brown, and we said this at the beginning of the year, something happens to Amon Ross St. Brown and misses any length of time, I think you really struggle at that receiver position. Let me ask you this. I don't know if it's feasible. I haven't looked up his contract, which I might in a second. But I know he's, although he says he's not, I think he's a little disgruntled where he is at that position. What do you think they'd have to give up, number one, to get, and would he fit in here, Stephon Diggs? Well, we've we've heard so much about the culture guys. Right. I mean, that's and, what I'm asking yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm working through it, and you just asked me this question. Right. <laughs> you, I mean, if you want me to give you a yes, no. No, no, I just, no. All right. I said that's why I asked. Okay, well, then you're rushing me. So the issue is, is, is it an issue with Josh Allen, the quarterback? Is it an issue that the play calling, he's not getting enough targets, um, and and those are those are answers that I don't I don't have. I don't know that he fits well in this room with Amon Ross St. Brown with Jamison Williams, right. and and it might just be that I don't want him in there with Jamison Williams. I really like where Jamison Williams is going, and I don't want to put anybody that that if there's even a question in that room as to whether you know I mean you're already going to have a diva element in there. But I don't want to add a guy that might be disgruntled or could be disgruntled if Amon Ross St. Brown gets more balls than he does or he doesn't get enough opportunity or, or, hey, Jared Goff can't hit me when I'm open. Like, I don't want to hear any of those things. Right. I, I, I get that. I'm just, I was curious because we've heard he's not completely happy in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. I don't think you'd have to give up as much as you think because... You'd be taking on his contract. You'd be taking on his contract. He is 30 years old. His cap number for next year is $27 million. That's a bit steep for me. Yeah, that's his cap number. His, his, you know, his base salary is $18 million. Um, yeah, so that would be probably a no to my question. But who else, like Mike Evans, he's long in the He's team. a free agent. He's a free agent. But I think, the, I think that'd be a great a great option because you're not going to pay top end dollar, but you might still get a year or two of, of maybe not top end mm-hmm. Mike Evans, but I'll take 90%, 85% of, of what top end Mike Evans was. And I'd put him in that room with Jamison Williams. Cause I think that would be a great influence. He seems like a consummate pro. I think the best thing about Mike Evans is he he be he's a traditional red zone end zone yeah, target, right. big target. I mean that's one thing I think the Lions don't have like just that jump ball guy. Not from a receiver position, they do obviously with Laporta, but not from a receiver yeah. position. Would another you know they another team who has major cap issues and it's an older receiver? I don't know if they'd be able to get him because he's thirty one. Keenan Allen. That, that, he gets hurt a little bit. A little bit. He gets hurt a lot, um, and so I would, I would, I would initially say no. Okay. Now maybe he doesn't get hurt as much if he is, if he's coming here and he understands he's number three, and he's not going to get as many balls, not going to take as many hits. Would he? Oh, so he, you think he'd be three behind JMO too? Yeah, I, I, I I'm really bullish on JMO with know, the way I, that I, he ended and 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 what I think he his his possibilities are and we saw it obviously you know at the end of the year we saw it with the reverses we saw it with him stretching the defense and, and even if when he wasn't getting the ball whether it's blocking or just opening things up for Amon Ross St. Brown we saw a lot of that uh, 248-539-9797 um, I need two DL athletes two DBs a guard and a tackle out of the draft a veteran cornerback, a, DA, a defensive end, and a tight end in free agency. Wow, you need a lot then, huh? I don't think they need that much. I won one big signing. Jones, Sneed, or Burns. And instead of paying Reynolds, I want Dalton Schultz. 
I expect Jamison to be a bigger part of the offense, so don't need Reynolds back. So is Josh Reynolds, is he the Jamal Williams this year? Where a lot of people would would really, I mean, he made some really big catches. Now I know there's yes. some there's two big drops in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, <laughs> but a lot of people felt like he he really performed well throughout the course of this season. He is he and he, and he's not a guy that is demanding of the ball. He's not a guy that you're going to hear in the media or and it doesn't sound like he's a locker room guy. Like if he doesn't get the ball thrown to him, he's not you know complaining. He's a good guy in the locker room, and I think a lot of people liked his production, liked what he did, and his relationship with Jared Goff. We've talked about that since he came over from, obviously, L.A. They, they played together there. But is he this year's version of, of Jamal Williams, where you can really upgrade at that position, but a lot of – I don't know that he's, he doesn't rise to the level of the, the, the fan support Correct. that Jamal Williams yeah, had. Yeah, I don't think there's too many people – Walking around with number eight jerseys, no, that's that don't say Lamar Jackson on them. No matter what town you're in, uh, here's some ticket text. And this is interesting. I gotta check. Well, I think he is a free agent. I don't know. I like T. Higgins. Could be cheaper coming off a wasted year where he was injured. Also, can fill in as number one if St. Brown got hurt. Well, so that's. I mean, that's the thing is you want to be able to get a guy that can 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 carry the load. Mm-hmm. If Amon Ross St. Brown is hurt, but I mean Amon Ross St. Brown, I expect that he has a new deal before next football season. You would, you would hope so. 